Hi everyone, I have a few unboxings of some economical framing ideas for diamond paintings. So stick with me and I'll open them up and we'll see which ones we like best. We have a few things that I'm noticing a little bit more of these things are starting to get around Amazon. Uh, the, the problem I see, the num one of the number one problems with diamond painting is, is that we all, we diamond painters, we collect a lot of diamond paintings, whether we've done them or not. We just, we see one we like and we buy it. I have a stack and a half. You wouldn't believe the stack I have. So I have, if you've noticed, I've kind of slowed down on that a little bit. We just got come through Christmas and today is December the 31st, last day of the whole year. And I'm spending it with you today. The big thing is framing. We do have a problem with economical framing. Framing is a very expensive thing. If you go to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or a framing shop for every one of your diamond paintings, you are going to be <laughs> nickeled and dimed to death. Let's just say it is very expensive. I need to have an actual video Frodo, what are you doing? You come over here and lay down. We need to have a, I need to get my mom to do a video for y'all on how to frame the things that you'd need and how to figure it out and frame it. It's really simple, very simple. If you only knew, you wouldn't take it to those places and to get it framed professionally. But of course, I know a lot of us don't have all the time in the world. I know I don't. I try my best to get a video out. <laughs> it's been very, very hard to get a video out through these holidays and everything. I'm trying to get done with the Peter Pan diamond painting, if you remember. But anyways, we, we as diamond painters, we want to frame our, the, our diamond paintings. You may not frame every single one that you do. But, you know, I have this craft room and I have all these walls that I could put these things up on and then seasonal, I could switch them out in the house seasonally and things like that. But I don't want to spend an arm and a leg and my other leg and, and then everything else. I'm already losing all my hair from COVID. I mean it. I am losing my hair from COVID. Me and my mom and my brother and, and other people that's had COVID has noticed their hair starts falling out. And I read it goes up to like six months after. Um, uh, at the rate mine's falling out, <laughs> I'll be bald before three months is up. You may start seeing me try out wigs on here. You know, that might be something to think about for me. Anyways, Let's get to it. I have seen a lot of these things, like I was saying, circling around. And I was kind of, I was like, okay, once this stuff starts saturating. Do you have to shake and make a bunch of noise? Go lay down, Frodo. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Frodo. Come here. You gonna say hello? You want to say hello? Oh, don't hack and cough. Looks like he's got emphysema. Yeah, this is your little Frody. Okay, okay. Say hello, Frodo. He's giving me a hug. Give me a hug. Okay, good boy. All right. He's about nine, going on nine years old. Yep, going on nine years old. All right, go lay down. Quit making noises. He had to shake again. What is it with little dogs having to shake? Anyways, once I knew that these these types of economical little framing, if you remember, I used dials to make my, my to hang one with hot glue. That one is not doing too well. The bottom one fell off, so I'm gonna have to go back in and figure out something else. I should have used flat instead of round. But these 
once they get these going really good, you'll see more and more of these. And that's what I was saying. I was, I was waiting for them to start more, more of them getting in, in to, on Amazon. And you, you'll understand what I'm saying. It's hard for me to say anything today for some reason. I'm saying all around it, but not exactly what the subject is. Okay, now I opened it up. This one was from Bime Star. I'll put the links below. This one, what you'll notice is that it has the wood and the little pieces to hook it together. It has everything that you need. It's like a stretched canvas. You know, the wood inside of stretched canvas. Well, this is the stretcher bars. You can take your diamond painting so long as the inside picture is the 40 by 30. So that way it will wrap around and you can staple it or glue it onto. Here is a, you know, stretch canvas that you can buy, all right? Hobby Lobby, you can get a whole bunch of these in one set for like $10. But if you notice, there's wood in here. You see this? Now, whenever you go to a larger one, there'll be wood. Well, this one doesn't have it, but larger ones will have a, a piece of wood in, in the middle for strength and strengthening it. Okay? So, what this is that, just, that I just can't got, it is an actual stretcher bars that you fold your diamond painting around and attach it. See how they've folded around here and has uh, stapled it, okay? Now there's one way, and then you could paint the edges, or whatever, but the thing of it is, you've got to make sure that the picture area is 30 by 40. 30 by 40. That way it goes around the excess that you normally cut off whenever you're going to glue them to one that's already stretched on here. Instead of buying one that's already stretched, you just buy the wood and stretch your diamond paint around it. These are your pieces that are going to go in the corners to make sure that it stays. And you get four of those four corners. You're going to get four of them. And then each one of these is going to go together. See there, and they have the little slots. Okay, it's gonna go together like that. <laughs> and they do have, a, I guess this is sticky here, probably where you're going to glue. I almost lifted it up, so be very careful when you go to lift this up off the edge here, because I almost lifted the glue totally up. So let's put that back down there and press it really good, and I'll. All right. The little silica things that says do not eat and throw and, and to throw away. I use these in my pal in my um, Ziploc bags for my salt dough ornaments that I made at Christmas because you want to make sure that they stay dry. You do not want to put them anywhere that it's going to be musty, moldy, wet. And you want to put those in with it. Okay, so don't throw the little silica gel thingies away. Here comes some of the, the hardware that you're going to put this together with. You've got your little four corners and it comes with your installation steps. And I'll show these to you very carefully. All right, let's see if I can get it to, to um, focus in on it so you can see and maybe read it. You can stop the video and read it if you can. If you can. I'll read it to you in just a minute. But I want to make sure that you can see each step because some people like to stop them and go step by step. Okay, and there's the QR code if you need more information. All right. Now, number one, you're going to flip your flip your canvas and mark the location of the wood on the canvas. So, um, I guess you're going to go ahead and put it together. 
before you put it, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it's already put together and you're gonna put it on the canvas, put together upside down. <laughs> Remove the double-sided tape, then paste the wood one by one on the canvas. Make sure the edges of the battens and the edge of the canvas coincide with each other. Raise the wood to ensure that the paint angle is sandwiched between the wood angles. Nail the U into U nail into the corner of the wood. So we'll have to do this together. Right now I'm just showing you some of the, the options. And I'll we'll come back to this one in a little bit. Make sure that you don't lose any of your things when you're putting it back in if you're not doing it right after you look at it. So I'm gonna put, put it right back in this bag. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna try to find one that I haven't framed yet to put it on there. And that may be a whole nother video for that. But this is an idea of things to buy for framing, okay? So we're not, we're not actually going to attempt this yet. All right, here goes our next one. Let's see what this one does. Let's see, I bought several so that way we'd have a variety of ideas of choices. And you figure out which one you think you're going to like better. Oh, great, another bag. <laughs> Come in this. And then it has this bag. Okay. Well, that's good packaging, I guess. You don't want nothing to get hurt. And so, here comes this one. Let's see. Now this, um, I believe is the magnet ones, which is gonna be, I think, the most easiest. And take the rubber bands off. All right, now let's open this up. It's getting dark outside. I mean, it's, it, it's cloudy. It's getting really muggy. I mean, not muggy, but um, just cloudy. And I saved my little rubber bands. Now, these are nice little rubber bands right here. And you know, I can't stand rubber bands on dumb painting, but I don't mind it on, on you know, stuff like this. Okay, this, this is two. You get two. I will leave the link below. And what this is, okay, they are magnet. You can see them. You know, hey, magnets, you try to force the the the, op, the polar together, and it just, okay. It's another day for science. Experiments. Okay, here's the top, obviously, because it has the little string on the top, okay? All right? And just like the dowels that I did in a do-it-yourself framing, this one comes with magnets, it's flat, comes with magnets, and you just put your diamond painting in it on the top, and then put this on the bottom, and it's just magnets. Look at here. And you've got, you have got, for your painting, uh, for your diamond painting, this one, I can't remember how long it was, but it can be upright longer. Actually, you could actually have a longer picture. Just make sure that the width of it, and here's another one. I got a set of two of these. That magnetic one right there is going to be the thing, the thing. You could switch it out, and you can just put your diamond painting in a portfolio or those plastic sleeves, bags, things, portfolio, clear see-through ones that I've, I've showed you before. You're not having to actually store big framed pictures when you have those magnetic things. That's what I'm trying to say. I just I can't talk. This next one is also a magnetic type. But this one is exciting for me if they get them in lots of other sizes as well, which it's a little harder logistically to know how many to buy at certain sizes, especially sometimes diamond paintings are a little bit crazy sized. This will come in a flat box. You see flat box. 
Magnetic diamond painting frame is what this is. And it's flat, it's flexible, and it's magnetic. You can see here on the picture how to do it. Okay? You're going to lift up the top and put your diamond painting in it. And do you know that this will literally stick to your refrigerator? You can put your diamond paintings on your refrigerator. <laughs> I love it. I love it, y'all. Okay? So, determine the position, stick it horizontally or vertically at will. So, you can put this on your refrigerator, um, wherever you want to put it. Um, I don't know if it's going to be okay for your wall, but I'm going to just do it for my refrigerator. All right, tear off the white protective film on the back. After you figure out where you're going to put it, and put it, like if I'm going to put it on this wall, I would figure out where I'm going to put it. I might even make a mark. You can use a dry erase marker on you, on you, um, refrigerator. Just make sure you get it off with alcohol, um, to get it off. Marker comes off with alcohol. Anyways, you're going to pull that film off and you're going to stick it where you want it to be. All right. Then you're going to uncover the layer and put the diamond painting into it. So you're going to pull up this frame layer, frame layer, and you're going to put your diamond painting underneath it. Okay? And then you're going to tear off the protective film on the front. So once you put your diamond painting under it, there'll be a film that you tear off. And after finishing, you can replace the diamond painting inside at will. That means you can change it out. So you put this on your refrigerator or wherever you're wanting to do it. Um, a glass, a cubicle, something, you know, at your work, whatever. And you can change out your diamond paintings in that spot whenever you want to. So that's what this one is. I love that idea. Now, obviously, you, I, don't put it on your painted wall. Put it in a place that you don't care and that you have paint that you can repaint over that spot, I guess. But if you're going to change, if you know you're going to use it for this and you're going to change out your diamond paintings and all, and you don't care because whenever you take this thing off, you're going to be wanting to, if it's all the way until you want to change the color of your room and change the and you don't want this anymore, and, and you're going to paint. Anyway, anyways, go ahead. Go ahead. Put it on your wall. But if you have a freshly new painted living room, and you don't really know if you're going to keep this up all the time, don't put it on there. Okay? It may pull the wallpaper, paint, whatever you have on that wall off. It may even pull the, the sheetrock liner off so just be very careful um you may end up having to replace a big old square of sheetrock <laughs> so be very careful okay but this is very exciting you can put this on things like a metal door um in front of your washing machine you can put it even long either upright or long, landscape so that's really good. I wanted to see this for myself and see how it does. Um, let's see. It says here, Magnetic Diamond Painting Frame Instructions. The Magnetic Diamond Painting Frame is made of safe and tough PVC material. There is a clear protective layer which is transparent and visible. It can be used to mount diamond paintings, posters, brochures, business license, and photos and more. If I have one of my paintings made into a print or a poster this size, it can be put in this and not have to have it framed. Is the magnetic diamond painting frame safe? Yes. The thickness of 2 millimeters and the weight is 16 gram, 160 grams. The edge of the picture frame is made of soft magnetic materials instead of bulky and fragile plastic and wood, wood 
materials. It can hold the paintings tightly, so you don't need to worry about it falling down and hurting you. Well, and if you have little children, that's always messing with your refrigerator. You ain't got to worry about this falling off and hitting them. You just have to worry about them reaching up and trying to pull it off themselves, but, you know, is and it's easy to install. It does not need screws and nails. There is an adhesive glue on the back which can be firmly pressed on glass or wall or refrigerator doors. <laughs> Washing machine fronts. Dishwasher fronts. Um, if it's, yeah, it's it doesn't have to be magnetic. It don't have to be metal. It can be plastic. Just make sure you don't want to ruin what you put it on. Great choice for framing diamond painting certificates, weeding, weeding photos. I think they meant wedding photos, but they put weeding. <laughs> See right here. If you can see it, but that's exactly what they put. <laughs> Weeding photos. <laughs> Art painting poster in your living room, bedroom, kitchen, dining room, bathroom, bar, hotel, restaurant, office, wall, window decoration. That pretty much covers it all. Can I move it somewhere else or, remove, or just remove it once? I don't need it anymore. Please repeatedly re confirm. The location of the frame, if posted to a wall and torn off, it will slightly damage the surface of the wall. So it will damage the surface of the wall if you put it on paint or wallpaper or anything like that. Just put it in a place, if you're going to put it on a wall, that you don't care if you have to replace a section of sheetrock just in case. <laughs> You don't care, but please don't. I'm not liable. I'm not liable. Please don't say it's my fault. I, I told you. Don't forget to remove the protective film before use. Then you will see the final perfect effect. Okay, so that, that top layer that you're supposed to pull off, that you need to make sure you get it off or it's going to be kind of muted, you, you know. Transparent display surface is made of soft material. Do not scratch it with sharp things so as not to affect the display effect. So you don't want to take a Brillo pad and scrub this. Please place the 12 by 16 inches magnetic diamond frame in a well ventilated place for one to two days to refresh frames if you mind the odor created in the closed packaging. Let me open it up. Some people may have complained that it had a funny smell. Sometimes things do have smell. It does it does have a plasticky smell, but it's not bad. As soon as you take it out, it's gonna air out. Okay. Some must just be a little bit more than others. I am really excited about this one really 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 excited about this one so there's pros and cons about it you don't want to put it on your sheetrock you can put it on your windows you can put glass you can put it on like i said metal things or the plastic things like your dishwasher and all those things and your refrigerator and things like that you just don't want to do it on like the sheetrock oh my goodness I don't, oh goodness i'm gonna tear it up i need to change this out every now and then y'all probably get tired of seeing that one um, but that's the three that I seen online and this is part one where I, I'm just going to leave it at that where you can see the differences in these. And then I'll make another video of me actually putting a diamond painting in these. Okay. So I don't want to run too long. I hope y'all have already found which one you would probably like the best. Um, the first one mm, with the stretch stretcher bars, it just depends on if this is easier than just buying an already stretched canvas and just gluing it to it. See, you can actually use these for any sizes under this size. Here, you can put a little one in the middle and decorate all around it, whatever. 
I'm thinking I may not be buying those in the future. It may just be too aggravating to try to put this on, you know, the stretcher bars. I don't know. We will, we, static electricity in the plastic and straight hair don't mix in the wintertime. Then this, this one right here with the magnetic bars, I'm gonna love this. This is for your this is for your sheetrock in the th places you don't want to mess up your wall. The one that you don't care to mess up your wall and to put on uh, refrigerators and, and dishwashers and, and glass and you know all kinds of things like that. You could even put this in one of those floating frames if you wanted to in the middle of a floating frame or on or make your own look like floating, float, floating flame, <laughs> floating frame. All you have to do is go to a thrift store or somebody gives you a bunch of old frames with glass. Put this on, clean the glass off real good. Make the frame what you want it to look like. Then glue this down and stick this down on that glass in the middle. Use dry erase markers, measure it, find the middle. Put this thing in there and then put your diamond painting in it and then put that frame up on the wall with this in the middle and it looks like that diamond painting is floating in the middle of that frame. Do you know how much it would cost, it would cost you to have that done at Michael's in one of those floating frames? You can make your own. Just take an already frame with glass or plexiglass. Clean it up, put the thing in the middle of it. There you go. So, there's all kinds of different things you can do with it. If you sit here and think about it, you better write it down because if you're like me, you'll forget the first thing you thought of and then, why didn't I think of that before? And then you're like, well, you know, maybe I did, I just forgot. You know. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you like this. These three little ideas right here, I scoured Amazon to find them to the different, just search diamond painting frames and you'll find all kinds of different things. But I will leave the links of these things down below. You may be able to find the same things at a cheaper price from another seller. I'm not endorsing any of these sellers per se. I just picked the size I wanted from these stores. They came on Prime within two to three days and here I am making this video for you. I did not have to wait three years, three months, and two days. <laughs> now I did have to wait, well, two days, I did wait two days. But I did not have to wait three months <laughs> to get them from AliExpress so or Wish or all them other places like that that you have to wait a little while because it's coming from China. These come straight to my door in two days. Again, like and subscribe if you like this kind of uh, thing. Uh, if you're a diamond painter or if you're a crafter and you want, you want to, I mean, this, these things can hang other things. It doesn't have to be a diamond painting. It could be a uh, needle craft. It could be anything, you know, that you need to hang. So, like it, thumbs up, and subscribe. Liking it, when you like one of the videos that you see on YouTube, it lets YouTube know this is a good video this person likes. They'll start showing you more like it. They'll start showing other people on their search bars these because a lot of people like them. It lets the algorithm know that this is something that a lot of people like and need to know or want to see. If no one likes it, even though they like it and they watch it and they don't hit that thumbs up, guess what? It may not get shown to anybody else, any new subscribers. I won't get no new subscribers, and I want to have plenty of subscribers so that way I'll keep making content for, for y'all to help y'all with it. If, if people stop subscribing and then they don't watch anymore, I'll feel like I'm just bothering people, and I, I just, you know, I don't want to waste people's time. You know, I want, I want y'all to be happy, and it helps us know that you like this kind of stuff. So, I'm gonna make another storage 
video in just a second. So hang on there, stick with us. We'll be right back in just a little while. Hope you like this video. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.